It's the great content shift, and it is, in fact, the 2012 NAB show. Hello again, everyone. I'm Tyler Pyburn of the Pulse Network. Now, we're talking about the great content shift with Richard Bullwinkle, Chief Evangelist at, Evangelist, excuse me, at Rovi Corporation. And, and uh, Richard, let's talk about some of these different shifts, especially the, the shifting expectations from the customers as far as the way you deliver content. How has it really changed over not even the, the last decade, but really the last couple of years? It, it's really remarkable. You're exactly right. In the last three years, we've probably seen more shift in, in the, the content delivery uh, ecosystem than we've probably seen in 50 years of television, six years of television. Uh, you know, it, up until 10 years ago, delivering great quality video to a cable box was really what cable companies wanted to do, what consumers wanted. Uh, and then really in the last five years, all of a sudden with these great devices that have come out, people are, are thinking about content in a whole new way. But we now have the ability to browse what's on on our iPad, touch a button, our, our TV tunes or our DVR records. We can, uh, it really brings discovery into a personal environment. It brings watching video into a personal environment. More and more uh, companies are delivering video not just to that set-top box, but to the iPad or to the, the Android tablet. All of these new capabilities and technologies are really uh, pushing the boundaries of what a, a traditional cable system was designed to do, and how can we now make that go to the airwaves, the Wi-Fi, the the uh, the you know the 4G connections, and take that all over, you know, the globe? How can I get my content anywhere? So it's a really exciting change that we've seen just in the last few years. I was going to say, I mean, uh, the one word you use there that I think kind of sums up is availability, isn't it? I mean, I think that's one of the things that everybody wants their content available at any point in time, whether, like you said, they were taking it on the train or they're on the plane. And the one word that I'll use, because we've seen it on the commercials time and time again, is the cloud. How often are we hearing that term as people are, are utilizing and optimizing this as well? Talk about some of the, the challenges, though, that, that people face because of this. Well, it's, it, you, you're exactly right. The cloud is this wonderful word that we just use for... We don't know quite know where that content exists, so let's just say, we'll call it the cloud. You know, how do we delight the customer with the cloud? Because you're right. Um, if I have a piece of content, if I, let's say I go to my cable box and I order a movie, now you want to watch that piece of content on your iPad or uh, in your bedroom or, or, you know, wherever you're moving that content to. So what we found is that really the answer is not to just authenticate another box, but really to have your content in the cloud. And that includes uh, television, on things like TV anywhere. But the, the, the cloud is this mystical place where your content lives. And really from any device, you can contact that, that repository, that locker of your content, and get it. And that, you know, even that's a little tricky because if, you know, if you're in another country where that content's not licensed to play, we have to figure that out and say, we're sorry. We know you own that content. We know it's yours, but we can't let you watch it there. And that's not something consumers ever want to hear. I, I paid for it. Why can't I watch it here? And in that case, that's one of the reasons that download technologies are still very strong. If you think about downloading a DivX movie or downloading an Apple movie on your, on your iPad or whatever, that means you can then watch it on, your, on a plane where there's no connection. You can watch it in a hotel in Germany. You can watch it wherever you are, and it works. Uh, because we know we've authenticated to the device. So in some ways, the cloud is a really great new thing because we're streaming content to you at the minute you ask for it. But in some ways, download technologies are still very popular because it follows the devices I own, and I can use it wherever that device happens to be. Perfect way to put it and end it right there. For Richard Bullwinkle, I'm Tyler Pyburn of the Pulse Network of thepulsenetwork.com.